Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Today I'm going to be doing a quick little video. It's one that I've actually been tagged in myself and I thought it would be fun to do, so we're gonna do it. I'm going to be giving you 21 YouTubers to watch in 2021. They're gonna be my top 21 favorites. Also, I'm going to share with you just a few little New Year's resolutions that I have. I'm sure you've heard a million by now because it's not exactly the new year anymore. I mean, it's still January, but it's not quite the new year anymore. So you might already have all the new year's resolutions you need, but I'm gonna share with you mine anyways. <laughs> so without further ado, here we go. Okay, so the first little category I have is lifestyle YouTubers. So at number one, Sarah's Day. If you have never heard of Sarah's Day, then you are missing out, Missy. Now, I have her categorized under lifestyle YouTuber. If you already know her, you might categorize her under fitness YouTuber. However, I think a majority of what she does, though she does a heck of a lot of fitness stuff, I think maybe a little bit more around lifestyle. There's my little spiel. If you know who she is, you might be like, she's fitness. She is fitness. Maybe 49% fitness and 52% 51% lifestyle. That's at least my opinion. Take it or leave it. Okay, so number two would be Jess and Gabriel Conti. Their name on YouTube, I think, is just Jess and Gabriel. But they're Christian YouTubers, which is one of my favorite things about them. They're pretty funny. They are both singers, and they're both beautiful, beautiful people. Very nice little husband and wife team. Christian and entertaining. Check them out. And number three, I'm going to list Jess Conti. She's the one with Jess and Gabe, but she has her own separate channel and it's different and she's sweet and adorable. And so I watch both of those channels, so you should too. Number four, I'm going to list Kelsey and Peachy K. I think that's how you say her last name. I discovered her through BuzzFeed Games, her doing the 100 Baby Challenge on Sims 4. I think she's awesome. I think on, she does, I mean, she might do mostly gaming, but on her personal channel, I think she, she does basically lifestyle and some gaming stuff too. But she's a BuzzFeed employee who does gaming. But her personal channel, I think, is more lifestyle. So check her out too. And number five is a small YouTuber like myself who I think think is just super sweet and I like her content. Her name is Dominique Lynn. You should definitely go check her out. She's very sweet. I really hope to work with her someday in a collaboration of some sort. So if you're watching this, hit me up. Okay, now I'm moving on to my next little category of fashion. I've only got two people in this one. Number one is Karina Wang. She does a whole bunch of sheen hauls, which if you know anything about me, you know I love me some sheen hauls. And she does other like lookbooks and other brand hauls too, but she's adorable and she's really fun to watch. So if you like that kind of stuff, check her out. Number seven, number two in fashion, but number seven overall is Hopescope. If you've never heard of her, she could also be categorized under fitness, but she mostly does athletic wear hauls and stuff like that. So she's really funny, sweet. So check her out if you like that kind of stuff. My next category is gaming. Okay, so number eight overall, but number one in gaming is Piggles, which I know you're watching this. She is my best friend in the whole wide world and she is a gamer who primarily does Sims 4 building, but I think she's just started doing Minecraft and she might do some other stuff in the future. But she's a small little YouTuber just like me and I think you guys need to give her a chance because she makes really good stuff. Love you girl. Number nine, Deligracy. If you are at all in the Sims 4 world, you know who Deligracy is. She's a Sims 4 gamer, excellent builder, love her accent, I love accents. Number 10, Lauren Z-Side. She's a really, really big gamer. I like her Sims 4 videos. If you can't tell, I'm a Sims 4 fan. She does other videos too, but she's really funny. I really enjoy watching her. So. Number 11 and the last one in the gaming category is Plumbella. Again, Sims 4. She's hilarious. She's got an incredible English accent. She cracks me up and honestly, even if you're not like the biggest Sims 4 fan, but you like watching games, she's hilarious. So 
check her out. Okay, my next category is beauty. Number 12 on my list. This is the lovely gal who tagged me in a video, which I'm so, so flattered. Thank you so much. Mar her name is Maria Nicole Beauty. Now, if you've not seen her, she's another small YouTuber, bigger than me, but another small YouTuber who is just as sweet as she can be, beautiful person inside and out. And she does really good beauty related stuff and her makeup, um, what is it called? What is it called? What is it called? Tutorials or something. They're really good. And one of these days I want to film myself using one of her tutorials. Hi. You want to come in here with mama? Well, if you're going to interrupt, you need to at least say hi. Hi. This is Douglas. He's all shaved. Last time you would have seen him would have been in my Amazon wig video. And he's so handsome now because he's all shaved with his little mustache. It's a little too long, but it's okay. Okay, let mommy finish. Anyways, she is an awesome YouTuber that you definitely need to check out if you were into beauty makeup type things. Number 13, Stella Cini, something like that. She does a whole bunch of hair videos, which I love. She does a whole lot with coloring her hair, which dreams, I mean, I would love to do that. I think she's a hairstylist. I do not know enough to be coloring hair and I'm, I'd be too scared to do it on myself anyways. I do want to have fun coloring my hair one day. I just can't yet job wise. Now, if YouTube was my job, then I would do it. Yes, I would. Number 14. I've never heard her say her last name. She probably has, but I haven't heard it. So, um, sorry. Her name is Tony Sevdalis? 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 Something like that. She does a lot of nice beauty fashion related videos. She's adorable. So if you like that kind of stuff, definitely go check her out as well. My next category is random. These people could fall under anything. I don't even know. So <laughs> number 15, Mia Maples. I love her. Okay. She's a really big YouTuber. She does so many different fun things, which is why she's under random. She does hauls. I mean, I think one of her biggest, most popular videos, I think her absolute most popular videos are her prom dress hauls, which she'll do from all different kinds of places. Um, she's done renovating things, which I love watching. She does wish hauls, all sorts of things. She is channel goals for me. Definitely go check her out if you haven't heard of her, which I feel like you probably have. Number 16, Katherine Manning. She would be under YouTube related videos. She basically teaches you how to succeed on YouTube and I really like her. She does a really good job in her videos. I've learned a lot from her. So if you are interested in growing a YouTube channel, go check her out for sure. Number 17 is Exo McKenna. If you are interested in thrifting and decor and renovation type videos you've probably already heard of her but if not check her out she's adorable beautiful sweet and has a really good eye when it comes to everything that I just listed <laughs> so go check her out number 18 Colleen Bellinger if you don't know who that is maybe you know who Miranda Sings is if not what rock have you been hiding under if you know Miranda Sings this is the real life girl, Colleen Bellinger. She's really funny, sweet, beautiful person, funny. I mean, funny. So I really enjoy watching her videos. She also has a vlog channel and then there is, of course, Miranda Sings. So check her out if you haven't already. Number 19, Haley Pham. She's awesome. She's younger than me. I feel old, but she has a lot of fun, random lifestyle related content on her channel. And she's very entertaining, Christian YouTuber as well. Love that about her. So go check her out if you enjoy just fun, lighthearted lifestyle type videos. Number 20, Meg Dion. Dion, Dion, I think it's Dion. I've been watching her recently. She has a small resin business, which if you don't know what resin is, it's basically art related stuff. I am going to be getting into that soon. <laughs> so I've been watching her stuff lately and if you're into arts and crafts or just any kind of 
stuff like that. She teaches how she started her small business and how she does her resin and stuff like that. And she's really sweet. So, so I think you need to check her out if you're at all interested. And number 21 is Potato Jet. If you are into YouTube stuff, filmography, photography, any of that sort of thing, go watch him. He is really, really good at what he does. Very informative. He's funny, really easy to listen to, super talented. He checks all the boxes. Go check him out. Excellent, excellent source of knowledge. So that is my 21 YouTubers for you to watch in 2021. Now I'm gonna share with you real quick my New Year's resolutions. And next year I'm gonna watch this video and see how I did with those resolutions. So <laughs> here we go. Number one, drink more water. I'm sure you've heard that a million times. And my number one tip for sticking with any sort of New Year's resolution is don't say something that vague. Do not just say drink more water. You need to have an actual goal with a number on it or something like that. Something that you can actually check off the box when you reach that goal or that resolution. So for me, my drink more water, I would like to drink two liters of water a day. It's way more than I drink now, but it's an actual number goal that I can actually do. And so that's what I wanna do. I wanna drink two liters of water a day. Number two, work out more. Again, what did I just say? Don't say things that vague. Don't worry, I have a more specific way of saying it. I want to work out at least 30 minutes, five times a week. That's about 30 minutes, five times a week, more than I do now. So I think the whole exercise more, I'll be able to check off, but I want to do that. 30 minutes, five times a week, at least. My third resolution, I want to declutter everything. Every part of my house, I want to deeply declutter. I have already decluttered my closet. That video will be coming up soon. I'm in the process of decluttering my kitchen. I don't have a video on that because I didn't really find it related to this channel. My closet, however, it's clothes, so fashion, so related to the channel. As I mentioned in that video, if you're interested in seeing decluttering videos, let me know and I will film every room of the house. But I'm gonna do every room of the house already done the closet, doing the kitchen. Next, maybe the laundry room because it's small and I don't want to get too overwhelmed too quickly. But that's something I really, really want to do this year because it's ridiculous how much clutter I have. So my fourth New Year's resolution, I want to launch my resin shop. It might be an Etsy shop. It might be a Shopify shop. It might be an Etsy and a Shopify shop. I don't know yet. I had goals to launch a resin business and I am going to do it this year. That is a resolution. And I'm going to be starting a blog and a YouTube channel based off of my resin business. So I have many things that is going to be on my plate this year, but it's okay because some of them are bound to not stick. That's why you cast a wide net and do a bunch of different things because some of them are bound to stick. So that's, that's, one of my resolutions. My fifth and final, currently final, New Year's resolution is to grow my current blog better than it is now. Now I know that's kind of along the lines of vague that I was saying don't do, but honestly I just want it better than what it is right now. And right now I haven't written for it in a long time, so I want to start writing at least one blog post a month, which should be easy to accomplish, but I want to do better with that. I really do. There's just so much potential to be had there and I'm just very lazy with it and that needs to change. So want to grow it to better than it is right now. I have so many goals this year. So it'll be exciting to watch this next year. Hi future me next year. How am I doing? Did I do good? Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and just found it fun and different because it was very different, then be sure to give me a like down below. And if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down in the comments and let me know what your New Year's resolutions are because I really enjoy hearing what other people have planned. It's just super fascinating. And sometimes you get ideas for your own plans by hearing other people's plans. So please tell me your resolutions down below because I want to know them. Thank you again for watching and have a wonderful day.